Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Creator Updates. I'm Rakesh Nagy and I'm an aviation enthusiast. Today we are going to discuss about the autopilot flight director modes in general. So let's start. Autopilot flight director modes in general. So we'll be discussing about this topic. So before starting the topic, let us recall what we have discussed in my previous session, which is related to our today's topic. On PFD, suppose this is PFD, there are five columns. Five columns. Suppose this one, two, three, four, and five. Five columns are there. First column, second column, third column, fourth column, and fifth column. So this is suppose PFD okay so on this today we are going to discuss in the second column and third column what all FMAs will appear so second column is for the vertical modes vertical modes and third column is for the lateral modes of autopilot and flight director okay friends so we will be discussing what all fmas can appear in the second column and also what all fmas can appear in the third column so second column is for all the vertical modes and third column is for all the lateral modes so let's check what are those fmas so let's start so let's begin with the vertical mode fmas vertical modes of autopilot flight director and lateral modes of autopilot flight director okay so let's start what are the vertical modes fmas which we have in airbus 320 okay so let's start so the modes which can appear in the second column that is for the vertical modes are like SRS. It is speed reference system or SRS mode which is used for takeoff and go around. The next one is climb, CLB, climb. This is a climb mode. Another FMA is DES. DES is the descent mode as the name says. Next, OPCLB. This is FMA which means open climb okay next we have OPDES okay OPDES it means open descent the next FMA which we have is EXP CLB this if this FMA appears what does it mean it means expedite incline next one is EXP DES this is expedite in descent. Remember these two are optional. They are not there in some MSN numbers of 320. Expedite climb and expedite descent. Next FMA is VS mode or FPA mode. Okay, VS is the vertical speed mode. FPA is the flight path angle mode. So this FMA can also appear. Both of these they are also called as the basic modes okay friends next we have alt star okay when you have alt star what does it mean it means it's an altitude capture mode the other one is simply alt alt means alt if this fma is appearing it means that it is altitude hold mode the other one is a L T C S T star. Now, if you get this FMA Alt C S T star, this is altitude constraint capture mode. Okay. The other one is A L T C S T. So, if you get this FMA A L T C S T, it means it is altitude constraint hold mode. Okay. I'll just continue here for the remaining vertical mode FMAs which can appear in the second column 
if you get this FMA ALT CRZ, what does it mean? It means altitude hold of the cruise flight level. The next one is GS star. So if you get this FMA GS star, it means that glide slope is in the capturing mode or glide slope capture mode. The other one is GS, simply GS. If you get this in the FMA, in the active status, then it means that this is glide slope mode. Next one is final. Final. If you get this FMA, it means final mode. And this appears only in case of non-precision approach. Another FMA which we can get is flare. If you get this FMA, what does it mean? Okay, flare means the flare mode. It appears in auto land. And in some MSN numbers, we also have one more FMA which can appear in the vertical mode. That is the TCAS. So if this appears, it means aircraft is in the TCAS mode. So friends, I hope you are clear with what all FMAs can appear in the vertical modes and these FMAs are of autopilot and flight director and they appear in the second column of PFT. Okay, next so let's discuss what all lateral mode FMAs of autopilot and FD can appear in the third column of PFD, this one, third column. Okay, so let's start. FMAs which can appear in lateral modes are, I'll just draw a line here and I'll write them here. In lateral modes, the FMAs which we can get is runway RWI if this FMA is appearing it means runway or we can also get RWI TRK okay so if you get this this is runway track okay friends next nav if you get this it means it's the nav mode or navigation mode next is Heading. If you get this FMA, okay, in the third column, it means you are in the heading mode. Okay. We have also another mode that is called as the TRK. If you get this FMA in the third column, it means track mode. Okay. Both these modes are also called as basic modes. Okay. Next is ABP NAV approach nav. So this is the approach nav mode. Okay friends, next. The other FMA which we get in this is log star. If you get this log star, it means the localizer is in the capturing mode or you can call this as localizer capture mode. The other one is lock, L-O-C. Lock is the localizer track mode. Okay. Next. The other FMA which we can get is land if you get this fma land it means the aircraft is in land mode okay so this land mode is basically a managed sub mode which includes glide slope and localizer below 400 feet radio altitude okay the next fma which we can get in lateral mode column is final app final approach mode so remember that friends this is basically a managed sub mode which includes approach nav and final during non pressure approach okay so remember that this is a managed sub mode which includes approach nav and final these two okay during non pressure approach so these are also fmas remember that approach nav and final as discussed here approach nav and Final. Okay. The next FMA which you can get here is roll out. So roll out mode is there whenever there is auto land. Next one is G A T R K. That is the go around track mode. Okay, friends. So friends, these are the little modes of autopilot and flight director which can appear in which column? Third column of PFT. So friends, I hope you are clear with what all FMAs can appear for vertical modes and lateral modes of autopilot and flight director in the second column and third column of PFD. So let me just summarize the session. Today we have just discussed about the autopilot flight director modes in general for the vertical modes 
and the later modes of autopilot and flight director. So these are all the vertical mode FMAs which you can get on the PFD second column. Okay friends. And these are all the later modes FMAs which you can get in the third column of PFD. So I'll come up again with a new topic in my next session. Till then, enjoy learning and thank you.